All right, let's take a look and see how the top works on the Cadillac. Yeah, the AC's already blowing cold. All right, and I think uh, we wanted to show this little compartment right here, Chris. Oh. Just right here. You just hit that button, okay, and then you turn it. Make sure we clean in there. Yeah, so that's just a little storage yeah. area to put yeah. maybe something. Well, your stuff, because you don't have a trunk. You don't have a trunk right near you. Right. right. Behind you. Okay. This is your heads up display. Standard. Standard on this car. The XLRs are all the same. Yeah. The only thing I've ever seen on an XLR be any different is these wheels. These wheels. Get down here real close. There's only a few companies in the world who send you, you can send your wheels off to get ground plated, right? Yeah. Well, if you look real closely here, this emblem is close to a Cadillac emblem, but it's not a Cadillac emblem. So cat, Cadillac does not, now they make trim pieces nowadays that pop over little cap covers, mm -hmm. all like your Denali's and so those aren't real chrome wheels, they're actually, they're actually hubcaps, but this is an actual factory rim that was then sent off to one of, there might be like five in the, in the, in the country that, um, the chrome know, plate wheels, chrome plate wheels, yeah, because all the federal EPA and all this stuff that goes with that, right, um, they used to, people just aren't making wheels all afternoon, a lot of wheels come out of China, they're cheap wheels, but these didn't. But what I'm getting at, though, is, is it's very rare to see a factory rim in chrome on an XLR. There you go. And to know that it's a factory rim uh, uh, set out to be chrome, these emblems, because GM has nothing to do with the process, the center cap that goes in there yeah. is an emblem that looks like a Cadillac emblem that the company they sent them off to, they sent them back with that cap. A, a Cadillac emblem I don't think will fit. Maybe it does. Because keep in mind, this diameter is a little bit smaller now because yeah. you, you filled that space up with, with um, product, with chrome product. Okay. So, any anyway, any other good. notable mentions about the car? Um, you know, um, I mean, conditions in great shape. Now, a lot of people, uh, a lot of folks compare this vehicle to the Corvette. There's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, functions that are um, the same as the Corvette. Mm -hmm. And one of them is this right here. Um, let's pretend the car is completely dead. Car is completely dead. The remote's not working. Can't get the car. Okay. Um, top up or top down. Take the key. Be real careful not to scratch anything. Pop this out. Put your key in. Now, if your car is dead, uh -huh. you'll release this and you'll lift it up manually. Okay. This car is not dead, so it's going to do this. Lifts up automatically. Now, if it's dead, it ain't doing that. Okay. Yeah. Battery's dead, and that's not happening. Correct. Is why we're, we're, we're pretending the car is dead right now. That's how we're going to treat the car. Okay. Then I just lifted it up by hand. Okay. Then, then you come right in here. Look in here. Since all your actuators are, you know, push button electric over here, um, you can't get into your car unless you come right to here. Uh -huh. Door right here. Yeah. This door has a door tab on it. So you pull that cable. Watch over there. Hold on. Watch where? Oh, right. the door just popped open. Yeah. Oh, okay. So. That allows you to then, come on. Manually open up the door without power. That allows you to then get to the car. To pop the hood. Ah. Oh. To pop the hood. Jump off the car. The battery's back here. Okay, so if the battery's dead, you can put the key in back there like Chris just showed you, turn it. It will manually unlock the trunk Push the trunk up with your hand, go to that spot, hit that little thing there, and it pops the door open for you so you can jump your car off. That's good information. It's electric as well, so guess what? Uh-huh. Pretend the actuator that the pin pops loose when your battery, um, uh, it, it, so, you, so your battery's dead. Or say the, so the, the pin switch, the same as the Corvette, actually, same as the, the pin switch that there's always tension on this to mm -hmm. pop open. Yeah. But that little rod, when you pull it, I'm about to pull, I'm about to pull it, or you hit the button, pulls downward it, re it releases the uh, door open okay that, that is right here actually Drive same spot. spot same spot 
there oh, you go. There you go. Yeah. That's great. So. Cool. More great information about the Cadillac XLR. Sunrises are in great shape. This car does not look to have had the top down a lot, or at least not outside with the sun baking on it, because these actually have good color to them. See the mm -hmm. color? Those portion covers that up. Yeah. The color from there to there is not that much different. Now, if these were on the, they actually kind of turn almost a purplish color. Uh, uh -huh. You would then notice that this has been outside quite a lot. These get dry. These get all cracked and they break right there. Yeah. So this is pretty solid. This is pretty solid here. See how your threading? Uh -huh. Your threading's still good. This is nice and supple still. Uh -huh. Push that button in there. Okay. So, actually, uh -huh. look right there. I'm sure we clean these little spots. I'm not sure what they came from, but um, uh -huh. right there lights up yellow, yellow, red. Those are your parking sensors. They light up right there. Oh, right there. Okay. In your line of sight. Right here. Parking sensors. In your line of sight. Your rear view mirror. They're in your line of sight. So you see them without having to look around. Oh, another cool little feature. A lot of people don't realize on this car. North Star V8. Yeah. For the longest time to this day, we hate the North Star in your DTSs. Uh, they're in your uh, your DTSs, your DeVilles, uh, your DHS, uh, your Seville, all the, all these different versions and different generations of the North Star. Um, they have bad head gaskets. They have leaks. They have all the things that go with them. Well, I didn't learn this until probably seven or eight years ago. The North Star that's installed in the XLR because it's an inline motor. Mm. You know, same setup, it's just inline. And the same North Star setup they install in the Cadillac SRX North Stars. Uh, they're also mounted inline. They have a different oil pump system as well as, I think he said a 20 or 30% thicker gasket set on the heads for when they're mounted in this, in this configuration. And uh, our shop at North Star Automotive that we use, or we, we're friends, but y'all call them if I have an issue or you know, hey, what do you think about this? He's like the Cadillac guru. Uh, people send in motors from all over the country to rebuild and send back because they want their car, but they have no motor. It's hard to buy a good motor. Anyways, I asked about XLRs one day in the North Star. He's like, actually, they're good motors. They also get 340 horsepower, hmm. whereas your standard car, I think, is 295, maybe 300. But this configuration, the cars are slightly tuned and they get 40 more horsepower than the standard North Star that goes in the DTS, the DeVille cars, you know, the flagship uh, Cadillac. Uh, so, neat, neat, neat factoid. SRX, it, 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 you know, same setup. Right. 340 horsepower. So wow. A lot of your, and actually a lot of your SRXs that have the North Star will actually have a, uh, right here, it'll actually say North Star and then uh, a North Star like performance or something under it. Like North, mm -hmm. uh, a high HP, high performance, something like that. Night. Um, oh, uh, North Star HO, high, high output is what it says on there. High output. So yeah, I've, I've never seen the high output logoing on the North Stars on the um, XLR. Huh. But these are the motors that come in the car. Now, the XLR V has a supercharger mounted to the same motor, and you only get, I think, maybe 40 more horsepower, 30 more horsepower on top of that. With the number. supercharger. Yeah. But then with that, you get, with, with a V, you have a different uh, fender, the wheel's a little different, uh, the interior has a little more flair to it. Uh, just a little bit more, but you know, I don't think you get a whole lot more for the car. And they, I don't think there's a whole lot of XLR Vs that are out there. Um, right. I have never seen this color in person. I've seen them in the catalog when, they were, when the cars were new. The most common is the silver, burgundy, and black. Yeah. So, in fact, I when I saw a picture of this car when it was on the website at the, at the sale being offered, I was like, that car is hideous looking. <laughs> that car is like, I am I told Randy, I'm not buying that. That's a terrible looking. I was like, look at those wheels. It's got to be aftermarket wheels. I was just because I don't ever see chrome wheels either. Right. So I got out of the car. I was like, <laughs> I'm buying this car. I gotta have this car because I saw the interior, how it matches that, how, and I saw the chrome wheels. Now, whoever is watching this video right now, it's a little dirty side. We've been a little busy. We haven't watched it lately. Um, we cranked it, moved it quite a few times. I uh, really haven't had a whole lot of folks to show it to because not a lot of folks are out there looking for an XLR. They're, you don't. You can go a month and not see an XLR on the road. Right. You know? uh, but uh, oh, so while you're back here though. That's your down button right there. Okay, you Always got a power sure tailgate. Always in the back position. Uh -huh. Locking points. Right. Or is it back up real quick? From what I understand, here to here is for golf clubs. It's like the width for golf clubs. Okay. Now, 
I was told and from the functions and how it works and what I've seen, uh, Cadillac took, is this only going to this gentleman? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm, I don't want to misspeak and it gets posted on the internet, but I think I'm right. Um, Cadillac took a 2003 Mercedes SL500 and dissected how the trunk section works. Or they brought in one of their team members who worked at Mercedes. It was one of the two. But this whole, ses this whole system and design is based on the SL500. Where the trunk comes up, this goes that way, it collapses. Uh, now the only difference in the system that I've ever noticed... Um, is there's a push button over on the side of the SL500. You push the button right there, and it actually, this whole unit just kind of raises up like four or five inches. If you've ever owned one, you know what I'm talking about. That allows you to put something up and under this, and the safety spot, when you pull this down on the, on the SL, allows you to put a few more things back there. This year, it doesn't give you that option. So, But now, you could fit a golf bag back yeah, here. That's, that's, that's kind of how kind of the, and roasters and all that. Yeah. You can put a golf bag back here. Now, we'll put the top down. Now, can the top can the top be? I've, I've heard other customers ask these before. Can the top go up and down while the car is driving at all, or does it have to be in park? Well, Audi had a cabriolet where you could be just coasting under, you know, a certain mile per hour. Yeah. That thing turns into a big old sail, like, a, like <laughs> an air brake on an aircraft. If you want to put that thing up while you're driving, that's just I mean, okay. So you should always be in park. This, you, you need to be stopped. Yeah. Um, also, when you hold the button. Uh -huh. You hold the button until it's done. You don't let it get in between cycles. You don't okay. want to get to a sweet spot where it wants to stop. You're probably fine. I've taken photos of these with them in the halfway point to show people the top. Uh, but don't get in the habit of stopping halfway and doing something and coming back to it. Because when it's like halfway down, you just don't want to sink yourself back down. Don't mm -hmm. put your hands back there to grab something. Just don't stay in your car. Right. I'm going to put it up real quick. Tana, should we have the trunk open by now? Yep, there you go. Now, if you started the cycle with the windows in the up position, the windows are going to go up when it's done. The it started its cycle with the windows, they'd already been in the down position from me putting them down earlier. Mm -hmm. So if you left your windows down, they're going to go back, or they're going to stay in the down position. They're not going to go back up. If, if I, but if I were to start the situation, start of the function with the windows in the up position, windows drop down, it does its thing, that's that. Well, when I, put the window, when I, when I were to put it back up, the window, the top would have uh, raised back up and the windows would have gone back up on their own. Okay. So, oh, so let me show you this trunk piece here. So I can e e e either press the button back here or come here. Now here's your button for the gas door. And here's your button for the trunk. Oh, okay. You have two of them. Oh, just if you need to load things in and out, you don't need the top retracting. Once the top is, once the top is up, loosen this porch right here. So if you go to the store and buy some stuff, right, you can drop that down. Like this, or completely remove it. Okay, and that's all your storage that's right storage. back there. And then the top is down, yeah. Now, if these pins aren't in place, if these pins aren't in place, see right here? Uh-huh. It goes like, it's like this. Hold on, do I do it backwards? You can edit the video, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're learning together. Uh, no, it goes like... There it goes. Okay. There and there. And this would come back and it's snapped in place. There we go. Okay. Oh, it snaps into place. You see right here? See this little pin switch? See that pin? Yeah. There, there's a little switch You're in there. Clicking. You're clicking? Yeah. That lets it know that the top has this clearance to fill up. That this isn't laying there, something's not laying in there. Okay. Unless this is sitting like this, or you cheat the system and put these little pens down, um, that top is not going to move. It won't actually. It'll say a uh, trunk uh, trunk divider uh, lock or something. something yeah. Something on, on the dash. So you can easily cool. go like here and bump that, and it won't it won't actuate. Right. You go click. Click. Yeah. You done? Right. So if you ever in there trying to do the top back and it's giving you one of those warnings, yeah, you need exactly. to come and check right in there. Yeah. Right there. Top first, I think. Yeah, top first. It's a beautiful car. 
Absolutely gorgeous. Did you already do like a driving video with this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, thanks for watching. I hope that answered some of your questions about the top and a few others. What is it for, like 20 grand? I'm not sure what we got it list for. I thought it was 19.9, but um, we do appreciate your time and we do hope we can earn your business. And as always, before we ever send a vehicle out for transport to be shipped to you, it gets a full cleaning and gas it? up and all. Yeah, you got to clean it up. Gas it you got to do those things. Yeah. That's right. With all I, your I paperwork. Where do you let guy? <laughs> but thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. And uh, we do look forward to earning your business.